There are many ways in which we can get started on our path to self-knowledge. One of such ways that I like to implement is numerology. If you haven't yet watched my previous video on numerology, then I invite you to watch it and then come back to this video afterwards. This way you will have a good foundational knowledge about the practice of numerology and why you should use it in your life. In this video I will teach you a simple technique to figure out what is your life path number. My dear ladies and gentlemen, are you interested in learning about spirituality and mysticism? Do you want to find out how you can become more enlightened, more confident in your decisions and more in tune with reality, all the while being less distracted by nonsense? If so, then you have come to the right place. My name is Leila Resme and I am here to guide you. Your life path number is a kind of main theme for your life. It is also called destiny number. It is an energy you want to learn to harmonize with in order to get best results possible. Many people naturally align with their life path number as it is the strongest energy in their chart. However, many others can be influenced by certain external factors which can steer them away from their path. In any case, it can be extremely beneficial to know your life path number because you can find out its attributes and the influences it can have on you. Some of which, as we will find out later, are not so good and should be controlled. Your life path or destiny number holds essential clues to what your soul needs in order to grow and is the key to living a fulfilled life. So, without further ado, Let's get started with some math. The calculation I am about to teach you is simple. However, the way we add the numbers is important, so do pay attention, as using a different way can make us miss out on important detail. For this reason, it is always recommended to do the calculations yourself instead of using something like an online generator. So, the calculation is as follows. We first add the day, then the month, and then the year. Let's use 11th December 1987 as an example. The calculation will then be 11 plus 12 plus 1987. Not 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 1 plus 9 plus 8 plus 7. I will repeat once again. We add the day, then the month, then the year. The sum of our calculation is 2010. What we do next is reduce this number to a single digit. So after we cross the zeros out, we have 2 plus 1 equals 3. So if you are born on the 11th December 1987, then your life path number is 3. In numerology, there exist what is called master numbers, such as 11, 22 and 33. These numbers do not get reduced to a single digit. So for instance, if the sum of your date of birth comes up to 2020, after we cross the zeros out, we are left with 22. In that case, your destiny number is 22. To give another example, if the sum of your birthday is 2018, we cross the zero out and are left with 2 plus 1 plus 8. This equals 211. In that case, your destiny number is 11. If at any point you are having issues with your calculations, feel free to drop your date of birth in the comments below and I will help to figure it out. Now, let's get into the meanings of the numbers. Firstly, it is important to know that no number is better than any of the others. This is also the case for master numbers. Master number 11 is simply a higher octave of number 2. Master number 22 is a higher octave of 4. And master number 33 is a higher octave of 6. The high frequency of master numbers does bring some very high potential, but it is also very unstable, giving it equal potential to get things wrong. 
Every number has an equal amount of positive and negative attributes. It is our goal to emphasize the positives of our number and control the negatives. There is so much to say on every single number. But for the sake of this video, we will only focus on some keywords just to get you started. Let's start with the positives of each number. Number one is independent, self-sufficient, innovative, direct, straight to the point. Number two is gentle, caring, sensitive and delicate. Although male twos tend to hide this, Three is communicative, expressive, optimistic, outgoing, fun-loving and creative. Four is reliable, traditional, strong, consistent and hardworking. Five is flexible, adaptable, changeable and freedom-loving. Six is family and home orientated, nurturing, compassionate, concerned for others. Seven is distant, observant, studious, eccentric, unusual, introspective and private. Number eight is powerful, demanding, professional, high quality. Number nine is a big character, charismatic, caring, wise, philanthropic and kind. Eleven is extreme, inspirational, emotional and psychic. Number twenty-two is highly capable, strong energy, thinking and doing big. Thirty-three is Christ's consciousness. Now let's move on to the negatives of each number. Remember, these are supposed to be controlled and be made aware of. They are not an excuse to be a bad person. Number one, selfish, impatient, narrow-minded. Number two, easily hurt, feelings of weakness, lack of purpose, desire to prove strength. Number three, vain, indiscreet, opinionated, socially anxious and superficial. Number four, rigid, inflexible, stubborn. Number five, deliberately disruptive, scattered, impulsive. Number six, weighed down by sense of responsibility manipulative. 7. Unusual appearance or attitude, outcast, impractical, isolated. Number 8. Money or power mad, aggressive, domineering and a bully. Number 9. Lack of boundaries, doormat, naive. Number 11, fanatical, extremist, frustrated, intolerant, obsessive, delusional, nervous. Number 22, destructive, stubborn, repeating mistakes, trapped by routine. Number 33, extreme abdication of personal responsibility. So, with all that being said, I hope this gives you something to think about. I invite you to play around with the dates of birth of your friends and family and let me know what you think in the comments. Do note that everyone is unique and though they may share the same number, they will express it in their own unique way. It is also important to remember that life path number is just one of a few main numbers that we have in our chart so most people will be a kind of mixture of different numbers. Nevertheless 
The destiny number is usually the strongest influence. My dear ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please consider liking, sharing, subscribing and commenting. And also, please let me know in the comment section what is your life path number. I will see you in the next video.